I think we're long overdue in society for the role of private enterprise to, to participate in a big way with NASA's exploration of space. Now, private enterprise has always been there. The LEM that landed on the moon, I probably have one of those here, let me think. Here it is. Here we go, the LEM. This and all the Apollo missions had one of these, the ones that went to the moon, they all had one of these. This is what deployed from the command module, landed on the surface of the moon, and the astronauts were in this upper part, and they got out, and then they got back in, and then the upper part would go back and and rejoin with the command module, leaving this base behind. This was designed, built, and manufactured in Grumman Aerospace, Bethpage, Long Island. But it doesn't say Grumman on the side because it was taxpayers' money that did it, and NASA and the like. I imagine a future such as what was imagined in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, where private enterprise is a participant in this exercise. What happened in that movie? There was Pan Am, was, it was an old-fashioned airline, Pan American, now out of business, but at the time it was a rockin' airline. Pan Am flew the space shuttle, and then there's AT&T put in the phone call, and this was a, a vision of a future where it's not just government programs, it's businesses are making money in space in ways not fundamentally different from how they might have made money here on Earth. And once you can make money in space, you have investors and entrepreneurs and you can advance a frontier in ways that would just simply not otherwise happen. So watch this space for the future of entrepreneurs.